has a very distinct kind of harsh personality. It comes across as harsh to a lot of people. You need to know how to reach the public because you're playing to Mickey Mouse amount of people. I'm trying to say, that's take this to 10 to 20, 30, 40, because 50. Because most of the people that I'm trying to educate are subjected to Mickey Mouse kind of dancers because those are the kind of dancers that people like you like to see up on stage. Ooh. Nice body, nice tits. How old are they? Cute costume. They're cute. Now we're here. Let's the tape was quintessential miles. It was a perfect uh, point counterpoint. Um, I have to say that I spent most of my time applauding Suhela's uh, point of view. Like you don't know anything about the art form. You don't know anything about the dance. You shouldn't you need, be judging. You need both. Okay. Um, he, you know, he's he's as passionate um, and educated and interested in what he's up to as she is in what she's up to. You need to balance the art, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to balance the art. Well, who's going to balance okay. you? Are you going to help me balance I'm trying to help. Okay, but you've seen and them I'm hoping you, you said you'd find me some, so I'm waiting yes, to see I if you... Yes, I said I'd find you some, but you should have had me on tour from the beginning. If you're just a mouth, or whether you've actually found me somebody. You mouth? Excuse me, I'm the one that paved the way to your whole Northern California experience. You wouldn't even have gotten into Rakasa if it wasn't for me. Mouth. I don't know what kind of mouth that you're oh, talking about. Okay, I thank you for that. Thank you. Well, thank I, I, you. I, I, I don't know what I want to thank okay. you. Hey. I'm more than a mouth. Hey, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to pull this thing off. I okay. Hope so I hope but, I hope you're not just one of those Hollywood talkers because I'm so sick yeah, and tired of but, your but kind. The point is, Put the point your is, money where you your mouth is. You're a troublemaker. I am not. Listen, you should listen to me more often. Me? Me? I love that. I have to like deal with you with all your your female issues. <laughs> <laughs> I have issues. Better not cut that. That better stay in there. Definitely got to leave that in. I mean, it's. Uh, it's, you know, the age-old problem we've been running into over and over again, you know, with the girls and, you know, you're thinking when you come into the thing, it's going to get completely perverted and blown out. The Lala Palooza tour was originally um, started in the 90s by Perry Farrell from Jane's Addiction. And for five or six years, uh, he'd go out every year with his band, Jane's Addiction, and take out the kind of latest and hottest alternative bands. Three or four years ago it stopped, but now they're starting again this year for the first time. Perry Fowler is very much into world music and, and it was suggested that maybe we can do some dates on the tour. Well, I mean, my wife is a dancer. So, to me, I think that dancers in general are the unsung heroes of the art world. So that's why it's kind of exciting for us, because it's going to kind of give us so much more audience reach than we've had before. Miles had uh, been very um, forthright and, and excited about getting us together and, and having them come out and do Lollapalooza with us. I think it's going to be a smash. Put your money where your mouth is. You're a troublemaker. I am not. Listen, you should listen to me more often. And I, I was trying to explain to her, look, you know, I, don't, I can't play a note of music. Right. But I can tell a song is good because I'm, I'm reacting to it. Right. So as I'm looking at this, I'm looking out there and saying, well, what, which ones do I find myself gravitating to? Well, then, you know. Caron. 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 The Caron. Judge. They are really beautiful. They have a really stunning feminine sensual quality about them that is, that is very important in this dance. They have yeah. that, you know, feminine sensual quality Well, they definitely about them. worked for me. When I saw that, I thought, okay, but that's a look. Whether just great just right now from this, it's, the, you know, the choreography is Belly Dance 101. For Lollapalooza, I could put more emphasis on look than actual talent for the troupe. No. Well, well, no, well, uh, for, for my, you know no, from my because perspective, you're saying, yes. you're saying the audience is between uh, 15 to 25, average age 20. All of those 20-year-olds watch MTV. They watch J-Lo and Puff Daddy. Yeah, and they true. watch the best dancers in the United States. They're going to know the difference of, of a pretty little girl just fluffing around it's someone who really well, can yeah, dance. I, I'm talking know, someone that, with talent yeah, who, who, girls, who is 18. I'm talking about are just fluffing around. Because every time I talk to you, you're saying they've got to be ballet, they've got to be this, got to be that. To be on stage? Okay, yes. Yeah. You don't like, you don't want a bunch of girls just throwing, waving oh, a I bunch agree, of scarves. Agree, yeah. And you're asking me as the choreographer to give you something impressive, to give you the wow factor. And this is important. This is important to impress the audience with belly dancing for their first impression you know, a, a major tour in the United States with belly dancing. And I don't want to do something fluffy with, well, you know, know scarf waving and, you know. The main thing too is to set up like, like in any Hollywood show or any 
a video, there's you have an audition and you have a panel and you have a choreographer. And as a choreographer, I will set up the choreography according to the show. What's going to be in the show? Can they handle it? Barbara's going to call a few numbers or names. I'm not sure how it's going to be done, but those people will be asked to stay. We'll do a little bit more dancing, and for the rest of you, thank you for coming. So. Okay. Um, number one, Leora Paniz. Paniz, please stay. One, there's one who's absolutely amazing, in my opinion. I don't know, but she's an all hot pink. I don't know what number she is. She just, she's got that, got that quality. Yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement with Morgan. When are the girls coming from Puerto Rico? Well, I'm gonna, I'll call tomorrow and organize them to come in. What's your name? Yeah, Cassandra. Yeah, she's 13 years old too. Wow. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 oh. sorry. You're right. But I just feel like it would be so hard on these girls at 13 to go out on this tour for Lollapalooza. And you know, you know what? what if people like make fun of them Say or something? Say that to Macaulay Culkin, Drew Barrymore. 15 hours a day. Yeah, on Drew set. Barrymore turned out to be a crack addict, and now she's doing great. She's doing know, phenomenally but well. She but was hot at 14. I'm and she was joking. also on like every drug. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> the girl in the pink has no dance training. She's great by herself, but. Yeah. What? Just Cassandra? Yeah. <laughs> Cassandra Woodburn. Thank you. I'm nervous. I'm surprised I got it. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very difficult time. I think learning choreography, I do my best, and um, I'm more improvisational, I think, than I am anything else. You came all the way for this? Yeah. That's great, okay. Thank you. Well, I thought you were really good. Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. Now she's on her way. Now she's on her way back. So, we'll see. We'll see. Also, I don't know if we want to explore this angle, but I've gotten a few emails from men, you know, saying how it's not just gender specific just for women. Well, we actually fi filmed two guys so far. We had this guy that I first thought was a woman. Huge, you know, big red dress, danced up a storm, I mean, occupied the room like an elephant would have, you know, you go and go, what's that? And at the very end, she rips off her wig and it's a bald-headed guy, you know. It's two different spirits. Because when I'm dancing as myself, it's a masculine man communicating one energy. When it's Lady Kai, it's a complete water spirit, something that tries to infect people, almost like a virus. The misconception about this dance is that it is something feminine. It's a folk dance, everybody does it. The movement vocabulary is the same whether you're a man or a woman. Puerto Ricans dance salsa, Dominicans dance merengue, Brazilians dance samba. This is just one of the many dances in the Middle East. For example, in reggae, a basic move would be like, you know, like this. In Calypso, it's like this. In Oriental dance, it's this. It's the same movement. See, so we have people in here that are not just pretty girls here.